Okay, so hey y'all, welcome back. Oh, yeah. It's been a long time. Oh my god, I say this every time. Okay. <music> about this now some people ask me how i do my wedding styles and yeah here's a video okay so first thing i always make sure to do before i start my installs is preheat my hot comb this is the andis hot comb i don't know if you can see it but it's on 20 the highest temperature okay so this here is from lamoda here this is their 30 inch 13 by 4 lace front wig it did come pre-plugged i did plug it a little more but yeah this is a 30 inch it's very full like let's get into it like yes but you can't find this wig on amazon it is going for 179 right now it's pretty good price for a 30 inch wig like come on like so one thing i always make sure to do so my insults could look as flat as possible you see these combs in there they do make your wig look bulky, bulky especially if you want to do a middle part that's what i was just like cutting them off immediately so yeah, I just grabbed my razor. Okay, so you see, like, you want to cut at this part, like the band. Here, this is where you want to cut. And just go like that, like, just cut it off. Make sure you don't get to the actual wig. So all the combs are officially cut out except for this one. So next thing I do is I go with my even, oh, not even. <laughs> I go with my Red by Kiss um, lace tint. It's in the shade medium brown. This is closer to my skin color, but I'm gonna use. I like using a lighter one because I feel like it imitates the illusion of a scalp better. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so shake that up. See like that, and then you just. Like that. Now I just let that sit for a few, let it air dry. I don't blow dry it, no point. And yeah. Another important thing, aside from like involving the wig, is making sure you have like a very flat base, which is like cornrows. I do prefer to use thinner ball caps, but it doesn't matter. I just use the ball cap that comes in the packages that I get. So yeah, just place the wig cap on your head. I can't do that. The more you stretch it, the better. I'm gonna bring it down. I just kind of did my lashes, so I don't want to mess it up. But, uh huh. Yeah, you want to use your scissors <laughs> and cut at the ear. So, cut the ear. I'm trying not to mess up my lip gloss. But if I get cut the ear, like so, the ear taps. Oops. And um oh i missed a step we're actually supposed to i missed a really big step <laughs> this is why my wigs be ripping out okay so <laughs> so this is how your wig cap looks after you did all the necessary cuts see right where my hair like this is how it should look you want it to be like that I like that yes period i'm going in with the lace tint that is closer to my skin shade and i am spraying that on the brush this is a random brush i just you see fluffy and i just put it on my hairline like this like that so you see it's closer to my skin color and here oh i forgot what do i do now i'm going on with my bold hold you can't find this at your local beauty supply store or you can find it at amazon it's not hard to find this is the active bottle for oily skin and i just spread it across my hairline if it would come out okay it's stuck let's put a hold around the hairline i do have a small forehead so which is gradually getting bigger because i keep ripping out my wig so yeah <laughs> make sure it gets everywhere like right here especially because my wig hairs don't like to stay on the side then i go in with you could use a popsicle stick you could use anything as long as you don't matter like you don't care about glue getting on it and yeah you just rub that in make sure it's one with the wig cap like you want to make sure it's really in 
boogly boogly on the low. You know, I'm feeling a little extra today. So I'll do two goals, I guess. Hey, I guess. Now let this air dry a little more. Cuffing it out. You could use a blow dryer, but I'd rather not. It's just too much noise. And it's 10.52 p.m. So, yeah. Okay, so you see how the wig cap is technically clear. It's not white like it was before. I just lost. Damn. Okay, so now I'm just going to cut it along the glue so this is how my ball cap ends up looking it's giving very much mr queen yeah my wig hair actually came out good today which is good because it kind of never does <laughs> it kind of never does this part, I'm going to call it fitting. Put the wig on your head to see where you would like it to fit. This is how the wig is sitting on my head. But look at the... Ooh. Hold on, let me get into the details. Should I do a middle part or a side part? I want to do a middle part. I haven't done a middle part in this long. But like straight hair. I don't wear straight hair, y'all. I usually wear like curly hair. If you know, you know. But yeah, like look at this. Look at it though. Look at it. It's very full. I love it. I love it. So yeah, this is not even straightened yet. This is not even straightened. It's just hot comb. A little hot comb. And the and blow dried. Like, let's really talk about it. Let's really talk about it. I'm feeling it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. So this is what I mean by fitting. Measure we wanted to start. So yeah, right here is fine for me. I like it right here. I use my clips like this. Just use the clips and actually it doesn't even matter how I I'm just put it like right here to like keep the part I guess. Here I'm just gonna cut off the ear tab. Okay, so you see you wanna cut it off above your ear. You're gonna lose some here. Barely even lost here for real. So see if it's snug around my ears. And that's exactly what I wanted. It's at a better angle, I guess. And I just flip it up so I can see where I want the glue. So yeah. Now it's time for gluing. So I go in with my K2, K2's Dream House glue, adhesive glue. This is in the flavor of watermelon, in it? Not flavor, because you're not eating it, in it? But <laughs> this is in the... Yeah, it's, it's just watermelon scented. It's very good. It, it holds my lace still. Like I said, the bowl hold. I tried bowl hold. I tried some of They don't work. But yeah, this is this does it for me. So yeah, I actually was about to forget a very crucial step. So I'll be back. So yeah, next step is you want to go in. I just use some paper towel with your alcohol. This is 91%. I don't think it matters. Just put it on like a paper or something. And just rub it across your hairline so you could take off like all the glue and stuff so your wig could stick better and the glue could work better but you don't have to use the exact products that i use but you could like improvise find your own but yeah this is just what works for me what works for me might not work for you so next thing i do is i go on my k2 dream house glue and i just put it on the wig cap but like not really like i put it at the edge of the wig cap like so so you see it's on the wig cap but it's on like the very end and i just bring it down it doesn't matter how far you bring it down you can always just go back and put more glue but try to get as much coverage as you can make sure not to go over where you were gonna put your like where your hairline starts on your wig because then it's just gonna be a messy chaotic thing you want everything to be nice and smooth so try to be as steady as you can so your install could come out neat and very pretty in oh my god oh well this is my 
I can't do my hair and play ball. I'm I'm losing my grip. You see, it's clear. You want to make sure it's clear. You want to make sure it's not white like you saw when I was like spreading it out. You want to make sure it's clear. It's spread it out evenly. Once it's clear, that means it's go time. It's time for layer number two or three. So now I'm just doing the same thing like I did before. But except this time, I'm doing like up and down. So it's on the wig cap. Next one is not on the wig cap. See, like, it's not much of a distance either. It's just, I don't know why I do this. Mm. I'm only doing two layers because like I said, I'm not leaving this on for long. Same thing. It's already clear, but you know, for a little more, you know, yo, 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 yo. Uh, I heard it's better to cut off the lace before. I just started doing that, but uh, for time's sake, no. So yeah, just place the wig right on it. And what I like to do is go with my comb, use the base, and just rub it in. Comb it back like so. The side. Mm -hmm. So for instance, I like to cut it off, like not where I would originally cut off. I was cutting off the lace, but like this, just so I could get a better view. Cause I don't like lace all up in my face. I don't know if you do. If you do, then that's you. But me personally, no. Hell, Najee. Hell not cool. So now I go in my band. This band is kind of a little too tight. You don't want to like cut off your blood circulation. You want it to like be just fine, but whatever. Stretch it out, then just place it where the glue is. Make sure all the hair is out the way. Oh, oh, oh. Just tie it like usual. I, I let it sit till my head hurts, so yeah. Uh, I'll be back when my head starts hurting and pulsating. Okay, so I decided to do a middle part. I was gonna do a s <laughs> every time. Every time I flip it, I change my mind. I, I I don't know. Okay, but yeah, while it's melting, um, I like to customize the wig and set it to my liking, which is like dealing with the parting, hot combing, making sure you know the wig is slayed. So see, I'm just going in with the hot comb. This isn't precisely what I do, but here's what I do for a flat install. So what I do is I put, part, section it like that, use my tresemme, and basically stretch the angle like that. Then I go with my comb, comb that in like that. Then I go with my hot comb. And just put it down like that. Just keep repeating. Pro tip, when you hot comb, you don't want to use just the comb part. You want to use the base, like this part. I'm not going to touch it. But... Yeah, because that's how you make sure it really lays down. Like, yeah, the comb's going to, like, lay it down. But that base is really going to push it in and make sure it's laid as flat as possible. Now, on the top layer, I don't like to use too much Tresemme because I don't... Oh, yeah, this is Tresemme. This is the Tresemme 2 spray extra hold. Like this. It's the green bottle, kind of. Yeah, so here's what I do for the top layer. I just put it like that. It's not too much rather than me just like spraying it directly on it and then another thing i like to do for like that lifted look at the beginning of the hair is just do the same thing and spread it amongst the hairline you don't want it to be too much though you want it to be like a good even spread come out with the comb like so and then you could go with your hot comb. So yeah. Ooh. Okay. Take it off. Okay. So here I'm just going to cut off like not at the hairline but like little segments. Now here's the important part. Not too much. Ooh. Ooh. Not too much. Not too much. All right girl. All right. All right. This is a better view. I feel like it's also cleaner. 
Okay, so see, I use a razor so it could look more jagged. If you use a if you use a pair of scissors, it's gonna look too neat. And no one's hairline is like straight across. I'm pretty sure you heard that before. Just cut amongst the hairline. Keep it angled so you can really see what you're working with. Don't rush across it because it's going to look crazy if you do. Okay, so this is how the lace is li looking. It is lifting, so you see look at this part. It's better to have less glue than too much glue. And I make sure to get exactly where it is. You don't want to put too much glue like that is good. And just spread it across the hairline. Spread it, spread it, spread it. I'm gonna go with the, the lace tint that is lighter than me. I think that's what I did the last time. The last install I did was pretty good, so. We're just trying to remake that. So I'm gonna spray it on here like I did. Okay, so this is gonna go like that under here. This shit just makes me. We're gonna go back in with the Tresemme because. What was I saying? We gotta go back in with the Tresemme. Um. For the last stage of the melt process, because you could still see, you know, like lifting here, etc., etc. So this is the part that's gonna like really make sure everything locks in and all the tint is sealed in, and just give it that flawless lick in it. You wanna do this stuff very fast because it does have alcohol in it, and you know alcohol works against the glue. So alcohol versus glue, alcohol wins. Your wig comes off and it looks bad. So yeah. One, that was one of my biggest mistakes when I used to do my hair. I used to just spray got to be and just leave like that. Next tip. Spray, always spray on your finger unless you're doing the method I did before where I was putting it in between. Like, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. So, this part, you're just going to put it on, oops, on the lace. Only on the lace. You don't want to put it on the hair because you don't want it crunchy. And you don't want to put too much either. That's why I'm putting on my finger so I can get a good like a good view estimate of how much I'm really putting on there. Now this part, you know, I think this type of fabric matters, but I'm just laying it down. I'm just gonna lay down real quick. This is actually from a stocking. So you want a fabric like this, so it doesn't like stick. I wouldn't use this cause I feel like it sticks and it makes it because you know the the spray is sticky so if you use that type of fabric like you use to lay it down like the black band is gonna be messy and nasty and gooey so all these things really matter like that's why you gotta pay attention to detail that's why i'm giving you guys all the tea to scoop all that um i don't know if i want to do baby hairs yet i'm still deciding but i'm gonna come back when i do make that decision it's total to it right now so i'll let you guys know when i come back and so you can get a good estimate of how long I keep my band on for because this part is very important. Okay, so my head is pulsating. So, 18. Uh, less than 20 minutes. Okay, turn for the moment. For final touches. I am going to do baby hairs because I feel like I look weird right now. I look naked. So I'm just going to take out like just a few. Here's what I do for my part. So I use the foundation, the Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation in the shade 15. It's like a slanted brush, I guess. And I use the lightest. No, I go in with the shade closest to my skin color. And just swash the brush in there. And I just trace my, my middle part or my part, whatever. It doesn't matter. Then the next thing I do is I use my string. Make sure it's straight on the part. But that's not straight. <laughs> then I go on oh, my magic glue cover in the shade of black. Cause right here is like the straight from distance. Yeah. 
Now the final touch is literally just going in with your hot comb and stuff. Like making sure everything is neat and flat. I gotta rush this part because I'm trying not to let my camera die. Okay, so I did my baby hair. Let's do the baby hair. Yeah. I decided to go for like a fuzzy. I don't know. I've been I've been really into like fuzzy baby hairs lately. Like like fuzzy, fluffy, you know. But yeah, I was going to flatten this, but I think I'm gonna flatten it tomorrow. But yeah, like y'all. Like, oh, oh my god. I'm not gonna put too much though, cause I don't want it to be too orange on my head. But yeah, this is basically what I just do. Just do like final retouches. Make sure you know everywhere is touched up with the spray. So I don't have to like go. Like this is my hair y'all. Like you can't tell me otherwise. You can't. But yeah other than that. Y'all look at this hair. Ooh. Rapunzel. Rapunzel. Let down your hair. So I was definitely about to go to bed without closing out this video. But yeah, yeah, this is my hair. Um, up close and personal. Yeah, why my camera just died? But anyways, yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you so, 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 so much. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope I gave you guys useful, helpful tips to help you get the sleekiest, fleekiest, on fleekiest, prettiest, neatest, flawless install. So yeah, um, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And hopefully you guys will see me here pretty soon. But yeah.